joins us live from the lunar surface, and he's got your news from space. <laughs> uh, yes, Marianne, yep. Ken, huh? Tina. Is anything different about me today? Mm, you look slimmer. Huh? You look slimmer. Yeah, you that's why. Moon. You know why? Why? Because I'm standing on the moon, and the gravity is much lighter. <laughs> the collar's sticking up on the right, though. That's a very important day today in space history, history, history. I say important. That's one small step for man. Yeah. By a leap for mankind. There you go. There you go. 47 years ago today, NASA's Apollo 11 mission put humans on the lunar surface for the first time. Spacecraft landed with just 30 seconds of fuel remaining. How cool is that? Uh, they nailed it. Uh, next, uh, six hours later, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first men to step on the moon. But because of extreme advances in space technology, I was able to fly here in about five minutes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, like Doctor Who, uh, I've gone back in time, and now I'm the third person to land on the moon. I get it. I see what you did there. You know what I did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Yeah, anybody there? It's the International Space Station. Your delivery's arrived. Just a space shark. Uh, this uh, SpaceX uh, Dragon craft successfully land arrived at the International Space Station this morning, and it came bearing gifts. Nearly 5,000 pounds of equipment and supplies are on board. Uh, among the cargo, a candy bar-sized device that'll be used to perform the first ever DNA sequencing in space. NASA wants to find out how the instrument works in microgravity and hopes one day it will help detect DNA-based life off of Earth. Also, will help out with making pharmaceuticals. Very cool stuff. Uh, the search for alien life just got real, people. The Kepler Space Telescope has discovered a massive cosmic treasure, treasure trove, at least 104 planets orbiting stars outside of our solar system. That includes four that it could have Earth-like rocky surfaces. Uh, most of the planets are between 20 and 50 percent larger than Earth by diameter. The discovery brings the total number of confirmed planets outside the solar system to 3,368. How about that? Come on! I had 3,317. Got me life on one of those, right? Right, somebody. A waste of space, if so. All right, that concludes your news from space, space, space. Bye, Code. Thanks, NASA man. Wow. That's his work.